you have teachers who are wonderful teachers who are teaching effectively. And we have, we've all had some of them. But they're not sure why the way they teach works. So they can't actually say, okay, this is what's happening in the brain and that's why this particular kid is learning and, and doing well. What they do instead is say, this kid is doing well on a test. So there's observational stuff that they bring to bear on the practice. But the, the, the biological element of it, what's happening in the actual brain, it has not traditionally been part of education. So the underpinnings for whatever, 100, 150 years of education have 2, all been... 2,000. 2,000 years of education have all been observational as opposed to neuroscientific. Correct. And you're trying to bring a more biological aspect to this. I'm, I'm saying it's, it would be fascinating to look at it through a biological lens, so through a biology of the brain lens at education. What would happen? What could we unleash if we did that? Okay. I think one of the interesting things I learned in, in reading your pieces is that... you know, I. My hunch is we're under the assumption that some kids are born smart and some kids are born stupid. Yes. And, and, sorry, stupid's a bad word, but you know what I'm saying. That's and, exactly the language people use. Right. You're and, exactly right. And, uh, you know, uh, some get the breaks and some don't get the breaks. Yes. Some get good teachers, bad teachers, and so on. Right. You tell us they actually kind of all start in the same place. They pretty much do. 100 billion neurons in the brain of a newborn, whether it's born here, whether it's male or female, whether it's born in a village in Africa, whether it's born rich or poor. You've got 100 billion neurons in the size of a little tiny baby newborn's brain. And the difference between that baby's brain and your brain is the connections among those neurons. So it's not to say that there's no genetic, there's no you know, nature element to this, but neuroscientists are now figuring that it's maybe 20% nature and maybe 80% nurture. So the building of those connections among those neurons is what actually creates the learning material of the brain. It makes it a human brain as opposed to an infant, uh, you know, undeveloped brain.